Okay, this video sort of illustrates how a nested for loop works. It's going to just demonstrate how the different elements in an array or the different pixels in an image would be visited by a nested for loop. This one, the first one here, this example is a processing loop that we might use in our introductory programming class to go through all the pixels in an image. And so if you remember the image filter examples that we had, we had a nested for loop structure that looks like this. The outer loop is choosing the rows of pixels with a variable y. The inner loop is choosing the pixel within a row with a variable x. And then inside the loop body, we would do something to the pixel at that particular location. So now if we watch this over here, all of my circles represent pixels in the image. The current row that we're operating on is uh, highlighted with this light green color. That would be represented by the Y variable. And the particular pixel that's being uh, examined or processed is highlighted red, and that's chosen by the X variable. So if we put this into motion, you can see how the X variable walks that pixel down the row, and then once everything in the row has been processed, the Y variable ticks up by one to look at the next row. Okay, and eventually all the rows in the image will be scanned and all the pixels in each row will be scanned and therefore our processing will look at every pixel in the image. Okay, so as we watch this go through, we'll let it run all the way to the end and then we'll switch and take a look at a Java example which we might use for a two-dimensional array rather than an image. All right, one more row to go here after this one is complete. And that would be it, and it would be done. Okay, I'm just gonna let that run for a second. Obviously the loops over here would not go back to the top of the image. They would process the whole thing one time through and then continue on with whatever code was after that. Now in a Java situation, in our second programming class, when we're more interested about arrays and uh, internal algorithms than images, we might use a nested for loop structure to process all the elements in a two-dimensional array. In that case, typically we would use a nested loop structure where the outer loop has a variable called i that goes through all the rows in the array. So we're going uh, starting at zero and continuing along as long as i is less than the length of the two-dimensional array, which is the number of rows that it has. And then our inner loop, j, will go uh, down each row and choose which element in the row we're going to process. So our body then does something to array element ij. Okay? So if we kick this guy off again, now my green highlighting it's represented by the uh, i variable in this nested for loop, and the red highlight is being chosen by the j variable in the inner for loop. Each circle then, instead of a pixel, is an element of this two-dimensional array ARR. Okay, and so we uh, go through in sequence, accessing the elements in the arrays. Maybe we're doing some sort of matrix multiplication operation or um, some sort of a search, but whatever we're going through and looking at everything in the two-dimensional array using these nested for loops. Okay, so this one will stop again at the end. In our last row, and there our entire array has been processed. Okay, so I hope that that illustrates a little bit how a nested for loop works and how it visits everything in a rectangular structure in an ordered way.